Hey, uh, Olivier uh, Vernon isn't the only one who cashed in uh, in the last day or two uh, as uh, Jedrick uh, Wilkes, uh, Will's contract was uh, was announced. It's a four-year deal, $19.7 million, fully guaranteed. It includes an option of uh, $11.88 signing bonus, and uh, the fifth year is a club option. Is that pretty standard to, to what that uh, should be based on where he was where he was drafted? Yeah, that, you know, the, the rookies in the NFL, uh, the salaries are slotted. Uh, so basically, you kind of know ahead of time uh, just exactly, uh, or not exactly to the dollar amount, but pretty much what they're going to be making. So uh, that really came as no surprise. It was just really kind of the timing. He was only the third top 10 pick to sign his rookie deal. The other ones were number five and number seven. So he at number 10 was the third one to sign. And uh, he was also the fifth out of seven Browns draft picks to sign their rookie contract. So they only have two left. Well, look what Pro Football Focus says about, about uh, the, the signing and, and Will's contract. He, they, they moved him up in their ratings. They uh, checked out the top offensive lines. This is uh, Pro Football Focus. Indianapolis, number one. New Orleans, number two. Dallas is third, followed by the Packers. Then the Ravens in fourth. And the, the Browns moved all the way up to, six spot, to the sixth spot. That's pretty high. That's pretty high rating for them. You know, it is a pretty high rating, but I actually would not have been surprised if they were in the top five. I mean, when you add a Jack Conklin at right tackle and then you draft your left tackle at number 10 overall, and then you've still got J.C. Treader, you've got Joel Batonio. Uh, I think it's a pretty darn good offensive line. So I would not have been surprised even had that been a little higher. Well, pro football focus continued talking about Wills. Wills played on the right side at Alabama, steps onto the left, left tackle in the future. He's an explosive run blocker who has developed nicely in pass protection, where he only allowed seven pressures in, the, in his last nine games at Alabama in 2019. The Browns finished just 23rd in uh, pro football focus uh, offensive uh, rankings, but they moved up. And uh, they uh, say the, the biggest move they made, you had mentioned the Conklin, but they're talking about the biggest in the NFL, and that's Wills especially if he, uh, if, he, if he develops quickly. The signs are pretty good that he's going to develop quickly. I don't think they make that, tr that uh, particular draft at that point unless he can step right in. Well, you know, they have every reason to believe that he will take right over and adapt to that move from the right side to the left side. Uh, the one thing that I do like about uh, Jedrick Wills is the fact that he admits that it is an adjustment. He's not acting like there's nothing to it. Uh, he knows that he's got to get the muscle memory over there. He knows that he's got to, you know, switch how, you know, how his brain uh, thinks about certain things on that side of the field. And, uh, and he's working hard at it. Uh, but Bill Callahan, the offensive line coach, he's done it before with Tyron Smith to great success. Tyron Smith has gone on to seven Pro Bowls. And then he's also got uh, Joe Thomas helping him out. And, you know, what better player to help you out in terms of of the left tackle position than future Hall of Famer Joe Thomas. Yeah. So he's set up for success. Yeah, that's what I wanted to ask. Does, in a case like this, you have you have Callahan coming in as the new offensive line coach. Does he make the move to uh, Joe Thomas and say, hey, help us any way you can? Or does Thomas make it? Or is it the, is it, uh, the, the coach? Is it Stefanski saying, Let, let's bring Joe Thomas in? Because, because there's obviously, I mean, Joe hasn't taught it before. He's played it, obviously. But but you, you would think that the new coach coming in, Callahan, might not want anybody else touching him, except in this case, you got Joe Thomas. Yeah, exactly. I think any offensive line coach would be thrilled yeah. uh, to, to have Joe Thomas helping with technique and that transition. And, you know, I'm not exactly sure who reached out to Joe Thomas initially uh, to have him connect with Jedrick Wills, but it might have been Andrew Barry because obviously Andrew Barry was here before and he's worked with Joe Thomas, knows him very well. So I wouldn't be surprised if, you know, Andrew or someone along those lines that knows Joe very well asked him to reach out a little bit to Jed.